Hey guys, what's up? I am Dustin Dean, and today we are going to play with the bees. Um, so let me explain to you guys real quick what's going on. Uh, a week or two ago, I did a hive split. There was um, egg cell uh, queen, uh, cells. queen cells in there, and um, I think it was in this uh, yellow box right here. In that yellow box right there, and. Watch this, watch this trick guys. I can throw my, I'm gonna throw my, I'm gonna throw y'all the shikar. Here we go. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, what we had is we put the, um, we did the high split in this. And I believe it was working successfully. And it dropped down like less than 30 degrees. And it killed all the brood in there. Um, which I believed, we've looked in here, we can't find the queen. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put these bees back in that hive down there because these are getting weaker. And um, and also, this box here is absolutely booming. This box here is booming like crazy. So we're going to put a super on top of this box. Let me get behind it because I'm blocking their way in for them to get into their... Um, so this box booming. We're going to put a super. So if you notice, I have uh, just one brood box here. That's what I'm going to all deal with. I'm just going to do with uh, just a, one simple brood box. I'm not going to do double brood. And we're going to put the queen excluder here. And we're going to put the soup, uh, the um, mediums on top. And here, um, I do have sugar water. You guys see over there, I have uh, syrup right there with this hive. I believe could use a little boost. I'm gonna put um, some sugar water, sugar syrup on this hive here. And this is the hive that we're gonna put the them weak bees back in here with. So let's, uh, and, and I, I, I've never done this before. I've never put them back in. So hopefully they don't fight each other. And I have a trick. I did not learn this off YouTube, just off of of um, thinking. I'm going to get some honey and I'm going to give them a little bit of honey around there and then they're going to be so busy trying to clean up the honey that they're going to forget that there's other bees mixed in with them and hopefully they just get along and and um, and uh, then they'll, they'll just intermingle. That's the plan. So let's try it. See what happens. Alrighty. Just for safety reasons I like to before I even look in there I give them a little a little puff of smoke and they're on top and we'll just shoo them back down with the smoke shoo get down there get down in there give them too much smoke they'll think they really are on fire and they'll leave and what am I doing what what am I doing? Do we need the syrup? Oh, you know what? I did not need to take that off. Sorry, guys. Sorry I smoked you. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I did not need to smoke them just now. That was my bad. Okay. They just got smoked. But you know what? It's not that bad. That's good. Okay, here's the syrup. And, uh... There's little teeny holes in here. Tip it upside down. It's going to rain. You guys see that? See it raining? Yep. Just give it a second. And see them two holes right there on top? So we'll, we'll just put them over them holes. And what the bees do, they come up through them holes. And then all them little holes underneath, they stick their little tongue in there. It's like a straw and they suck right out of this. And well, whenever they need a little bit of food, it's right there. And then we just take this, uh, this is deep right here, and put it on top. Turn, put that right there for ventilation. And we're, oh, I got sugar water all over this thing. And we're done with that. Yeah. Now we'll move on to this hive. This is the booming hive with the awesome queen, and uh, we are going to put uh, medium on there. I think that's the right word for it, medium. 
Or is it super? I don't know. Sorry if I don't know the B lingo very well. <laughs> I'm learning. I do know this is an awesome tool. I scare myself sometimes. <laughs> They all got appropriate amount of smoke. So, so what we have is a queen excluder. And we'll put this on and this will, like the name says, exclude the queen from going up and uh, into the uh, next one. So that way she doesn't lay her babies into this. Because this is gonna be my honey right here. And this will allow the all the bees to go up and into here. Watch out, watch out girl. Watch out girl. Watch out girl. I love my bees, I try really hard not to squish any. But sometimes no matter how hard you try, you squish them. So this is cool. Our first honey box on top. Exciting. You excited, Shikara? I'm very excited. Very excited. There's a little handful of bees right here. We have, um, I'll look really, 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 really hard for, looks like they're, um, I don't know what they're doing. They've got really nothing. There's nothing right there. They might be cleaning comb or or just starving to death or who knows. See this guy right here? Is that a stinger? Now that is a boy bee. Can I have it? <laughs> that is a boy bee. They're also called a drone, yeah. and they're so fun. My kids love these because they uh, they don't sting at all. They're really nice. They're really nice. Birdie used Birdie had one. Yep, we'll put it back in. <laughs> oh, flew away. They do fly. They do. So I think I saw another. <laughs> it came right back to me. <laughs> it likes you, Dad. Yeah. He's like, no, I don't want to leave. <laughs> That's funny. There's that sugar water on you. I don't think that is good brood. I think that's dead brood. You see anything that resembles a queen at all? What's this one? No? Anything close to a queen? I really don't see anything. Guys, I've already looked at this today and I can't see the queen. I mean, I just want to make darn sure before I put them back that there's not a queen in here. And the reason why is uh, there's um, a queen over there and, they, and they'll, they'll kill each other. And so, how? Okay, so we'll put that down in there. Right here, right? Mm -hmm. Cluster, a little cluster. They're slowly dying, is what's happening. Put them right down in there. Scoot them over. 
I think, um, oops, got a little dub on you. I think drizzling a little honey up on top is just uh, maybe a little on your pollen patty. I'm hoping. Look at that. Look at that darn dog. Okay. I'm hoping that uh, this works. So those of you who've watched uh, um, in the, my other video where we did the hive split, this is a failed experiment. But we learned a lot from that. We learned that it's best to wait to do a hive split when night temperatures are about 50 degrees, no colder than 50 degrees. Um, I did learn that, but unfortunately I learned it the hard way. And uh, so what we did today is we took them bees on that end hive and, and so they'll be strengthened. We got our honey box here with the queen excluder. Uh, that's, uh, did that. And then here we have the sugar water. This is a weak hive. I do have a queen. It's, it's kind of spotty on the brood. Not a very good queen or just uh, still learning. But um, it's a weak hive. So we put sugar water and uh, in here and a pollen patty. This one's got a pollen patty and this one's a me not not I want to say a strong hive, but maybe uh, eh, medium-ish. So medium-ish, weakish, and booming, yeah. And failed experiment. Thank you guys for watching the show, and um, I hope you all learned something because I know I did. And uh, we will see you in the next one.